Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. A new update of Lightroom just came out using AI to get rid of noise reduction. In this video, you're going to discover the difference between the AI feature of noise reduction and the old way of noise reduction. Which one is going to win? You got to stay until the end because the last one is completely crazy. All right, so check out this new feature of AI. So this is a photo that I on purpose shot by hand at 4,000 ISO, which is something I never do. And it's noisy like air numerously noisy. It is unbelievably noisy. It's a soup of noise. Okay, so what I'm gonna show you now is what I would usually do is, now you have this new feature that says denoise, reduce noise with AI, the result will be saved as a new DNG. It's gonna duplicate the DNG and make it with noise reduction, but let's compare. So what I usually would do is I would jump in here on such a noisy photo, I would go like all the way like to 25 ISO, and then I would uh, probably sharpen about 75 and do about 50 of masking. That's my go-to settings for that. And it gives me, you know, it's still very noisy, but whatever, it just gives me that. Now, if I use a new denoise feature and wait till you see the last photo because I on purposely underexpose the photo, so check it out. You can see on the window here, if you press, if you click, it shows you the before and after. It goes from a soup of noise to no noise. Soup of noise, no noise. And then you can put the amount there. You know, basically you can put the amount. So I'm going to go like pretty hard, like 70. It's going to say, okay, estimated time, 25 seconds. Create stack, meaning that it's going to put this on hands photo and the other photo in the same stack on the stack which is just grouping photos. And let's go on hands and let's compare. Okay, so it's back here and you can see, so to compare, what you do is you select both photo with shift and you press C for compare and shift tab to go in full screen mode. And on the right side, you wait a little bit, it's gonna render, this is the old noise reduction and this is a new noise reduction. I mean, it's day and night. I don't know if you can see it on the video. It's day and night. The result of this AI denoise is incredible. But let's go one step further. Let's go on this photo here, which is a underexposed photo at night. So let's do a little bit of retouching. And I, this one is, check this out. This one was shot at 6,400 ISO, but was underexposed. And when you're underexposed, you get even more noise. So let's open the shadows. Let's boost the whites here a little bit. Let's bring down the highlights. Let's add a bit of magenta, because that's my signature. Let's make it more blue. Let's add a bit of contrast. This, my eyes can't stop from going here. So what do you do? You take an inner gradient, boom. You make it dark. And I want to focus my eyes inside of the photo. So boom, let's add a radial circle inside. Okay, and let's make it much brighter so that my eyes goes inside. But you see now it's making everything brighter. I just want to make the sky brighter there. So check out this really cool trick. Three dots, intersect mask with sky. And what that's going to do is because it's going to make the gradient only intersect with the sky. So that's crazy. That's a little too much. And this is really something I would never be able to do in a million years before. I mean, look how noisy it is. It is soup of the soup. It's unbelievably unusable. So now let's go here in the detail section. I'm going to show you the other feature, which are new in Lightroom. If you stay one more second here. I'm going to do my old method, which is, and by the way, if you don't see it, it's because you got this new thing. So manual noise reduction, you have to open it up. So before I would zoom in, I would go, I never go over 30 because it just gets too blurry. 30 about noise reduction, about 70 of sharpening, and boom, about 50 masking. But it's still completely, absolutely awful, unusable. So now, mesdames et messieurs, I'm going to go to denoise and use this new feature and let's see. So it's using AI to denoise the photo. Look at that. It goes from a soup of noise to something that seems to be pretty good. I'm going to go 70 also on this one because it's very strong. Create stack. It's going to take 25 seconds and let's go to compare mode. So one more time to go to compare mode, you select both. You press C for compare and shift out for full screen mode and then you can zoom in and compare pixel to pixel. So check this out. On the left side is AI's noise reduction. 
on the right side is the old way. I mean, it's a game changer. I do a lot of photos at night from a helicopter, like in New York, and this is going to be completely changed my life. Now, a couple of new features in this new April 2023 update. You see now we have eyes here, and the eye in white shows that something has been onto the photo in that panel. So in a basic panel, I did some setting, and it, you can see the eye is white. And then, like, I only did something in the detail panel, so you can see the eye is kind of white. Now, if you hold on the Option key, you can go back to the old system of the little square going up and down. And if, if you want to see the before and after on any of this panel, you just click, boom, and you can see the before and after of whatever was done. That's one new feature. Another incredible new feature, check this out. This is a photo I shot in Tuscany last week. You can now use Curve in your mask. So let me show you what that means. You go here and select the sky, for example. And back in the day, what I used to be able to do is just, you know, lower the exposure and maybe add a bit of blue, which is fine. But now you can actually use curve on your mask. So I got a mask, which is this guy. And check this out. I got this curve here. So I can go on the global curve and just add a lot of contrast to my sky, which is cool. But then I can go here in the reds and I can say, I want more red, less red, just in my sky. I can go to the green. I want more green, less green in my sky. I can go here, I can. I want more blue, less blue, a little more blue in the sky. And it's absolutely crazy. I can go back to the, this one and just readapt it. And check this out, Curve can be used anywhere now. Now, there's also a new masking feature in this April 2023 update. Let me show you. Here's a photo of my student that I shot last week. And if you go to the masking feature, now you can, uh, and you create a mask, create a new mask, and you select people, you now have the option, so you click on the person, you now have the option to select his facial hair, which is his beard, and you can do also his hair. So for example, if I want to change or make them a little, like from white to darker gray, I can create the mask, and I can lower the exposure, and now, you know, I can make him like really black, or just add, you know, a few years back to his hair. And this is a really new cool feature. And by the way, I just came out with a new book on Photoshop called Photoshop the Easy Way. It's a 155 book. You can actually get a copy in your hand. All you have to do is pay shipping and handling. And also you can get two weeks of free mentorship with me. I have a new coaching program, which is $47 per month, where I can coach you one-on-one -on -one through Zoom with a group of other photographers. It's really cool. You can get a two weeks trial for free and get the book for free. Just pay shipping and handling. The link is on this video. This could maybe, maybe change your life or maybe not. I'll see you in another video. Au revoir.